how you put the bits and pieces of your life together and it will make you into a beautiful masterpiece and people will wonder oh is this not the same person that was broken several years ago people will not even recognize you anymore hi guys welcome to my channel how are you guys doing thank you so much for tuning in so today is the last um episode of our series letting go of the past and moving into the future if you have not seen the past three episodes after this video please go back and watch it so that you can catch up on them thank you so much so in today's video i'm talking about moving into god's future for you moving into god's plan and purpose for you for the past three weeks we've been looking at letting go of the past letting go of past relationships letting go of past mindsets letting go of past losses letting go of past jobs letting go of past beliefs letting go of past idols and so on and so forth but after letting go of the past what next? The first thing is that God will turn your mess into a message. Your pain is not a waste. Your heart is not a waste. Whatever you have been through is not a waste. It is so that you can comfort others. The Bible says that you should comfort others with the same comfort in which you have received. So sometimes we have been through things that we, we thought that would break us, but only made us stronger, only made us to rely more on God, only made us to trust and you know build a stronger relationship with God. This is so that we can be a blessing to people that are going to experience similar things in the future. Whatever we are going through is so that we can encourage and be an encouragement to people. You wonder that sometimes that you have been through some things and you encourage somebody with that same thing, and this is like, oh, this is what I needed. Sometimes that God will need you to push through some things. So that you can be empathetic towards others, so that you can understand the situation of others, and so that you can encourage them with the same encouragement in which you have received from the Holy Spirit. Know that whatever you are passing through right now, it is not going to be forever. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. And there is no better satisfaction to know that somebody came out from a situation because of your encouragement. So I pray that God will strengthen you and help you to also encourage others and strengthen others with the same strength and encouragement that you have received in Jesus. God will comfort you. God will not leave us comfortless. God is not a high priest that is not touched by our infirmities. God understands every single thing we are going through. He came in the likeness of man through Jesus Christ that came in flesh. And so he understands. He understands the pain of betrayal. He understands the pain of losing someone. He understands the pain of physical death. So God understands. God will comfort you. He will not leave you comfortless. He is not a wicked high priest. He is a high priest that sympathizes with our infirmities. God will put the bits and pieces of your life together and He will make you into a beautiful masterpiece. And people will wonder, oh, is this not the same person that was broken several years ago? People will not even recognize you anymore because the bits and pieces of your life would have been so rearranged that it will become a beautiful masterpiece. It will become a beautiful out of work to be old. People will be encouraged by your experiences. People will be, ex be encouraged by the things you have been through. So know that even when you are feeling broken right now because of your experiences, know that God is in the business of putting bits and pieces of our lives together to become a beautiful masterpiece that will be an encouragement to others. God desires that you prosper and be in health, body, soul and spirit. It's not a desire for one part of your life to prosper and the other part not to prosper. So whatever you have been through in the past that have affected either your body, your soul, or your spirit. You know that God has a beautiful ending for you. Whatever you are passing through, it is not the end. It is just the process. And at the end, you would look back and give glory to God because of how beautiful your life will turn out. For your shame, God will give you double honor. For your grief, God will give you joy. He will turn your mourning into dancing. He will give you back all the years that you look cost and can't come home as eating. You are going to be compensated for the losses of your past in Jesus name. You don't know your future. God knows it. So depend on him. Rely on him. Trust the name that his will and his plans for you is to give you an expected end. There is there's only so much your plans can do to you. You can only see as far as you know. But the all-knowing God is telling you to trust him. He's telling you to lay your body at his feet. He's telling you to believe in him that that loss that pain is for a purpose so that you can comfort others with the same comfort in which you have received i mean just thinking about it it's going to be a joyful experience to know that somebody came out stronger and better from a past hurt because of our own encouragement and because of our stories 
that touched their lives. I pray that God will connect you with people that would also encourage you so that you can also in turn be an encouragement to people also in the name of Jesus. God wants you to trust in Him. He wants you to believe totally in Him. God is not your enemy. God is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. He wants you to come to Him with your heart, whatever you are passing through, lay it at His feet. Tell him just how you are feeling. He understands and he can sympathize with you and he will heal your broken heart. He will put every bit and pieces of your life together in such a way that they become a beautiful masterpiece. Know that God is rooting for you big time and I am also rooting for you. Be encouraged in Jesus' name. Amen. So that will be all for now. Thank you so much for staying till the end of the video and for you know watching the four episodes. If you have not seen the last three episodes please after this video just go back and watch it i'm very sure that you'll be blessed if this blessed you please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button subscribe share comment let me know what's what stood out for you in this series what are you willing to let go of how are you willing to trust god better in what area of your life are you willing to trust god better let me know in the comment section thank you so much once again for tuning in and i will see you in the next one till then Remember that I love you. I really, really, really love you. I'm rooting for you big time. I know that God is also rooting for you. And please, don't stop rooting for yourself. I'll see you in the next one. Stay blessed. Bye.